I'm very excited about this find. Um, I haven't seen many of these. Um, I'm sure a lot of these are um, probably quite hard to find now, but they're still around. And these these are old uh, grinding stones. Um, so they would have put the plant plant material on this and uh, use the grinding stone to to kind of mill down uh, some of the plants uh, to make to make a flower or to make them easier to uh, easier to cook and um, digest. So um, I might turn him over just to see what the other side is like. <coughs> well, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely both sides of this were used uh, for the grinding process. Um, one thing that did occur to me when I first saw this is that it could be used as a cooking stone, but when you see these cooking stones, you usually tend to see um, black, um, black from the heat of the fire, and you don't see this with this. And uh, with all the different grinding stones around, um, in very close proximity, I'd say this, this guy would have been um, used for grinding. So I'll just flip him back over where I found him. <coughs> Yeah, that's fantastic. That's a really nice example. Really nice example of a grinding stone. Nice and uh, uh, it's got it's made up of tough, uh, tough rock, um, fine grains. Um, could rub something pretty abrasive on there and not cause too much, uh, uh, too much kind of uh, sediment and stuff to be removed from the matrix. So uh, you wouldn't be chewing, chewing gravel. So that's that's a really nice, really nice stone.